Good morning. Welcome to the jungle. Things are looking bad out here. Rain, not properly tending to it. And all those stuff is growing. It is growing extremely wild. An example is this tomato plant right here. It is growing all over the place. I hadn't, I hadn't done anything to prop it up or nothing, so it's just pretty much binding out. The only good thing about it is that there are plenty of tomatoes on it. And you can look down there and see some right there. And there's some more right there. So, I guess if it's doing this well, may as well leave it alone. So I like seeing all those tomatoes on it. And it has plenty of blossoms on it. The one here, I haven't checked for tomatoes on it. I do know that there are plenty of blossoms on it also. I'm gonna probably go in and pull out the grass that's in here. But, oh yeah, there's one little bit of tomato right there. And well, there's one, I'm sure there are others in it. And then here I gotta clear out the, clear, uh, clear out the grass in there because you can see there are, uh, in this big bed right here, there are blossoms here also so. and here's just a few of the tomato plants here's another one over here as you can see clear blossoms on this one also so it's doing well this here is my orange tree it's still in the pot and I haven't transplanted it yet I don't know if I'm putting a bigger pot or putting the ground I haven't decided yet but it's looking nice and lovely. So it's doing good. Strawberries, I'm not too impressed with them this year. I've seen strawberries, and I've had a few out here, but this year, as in the past, it seems that planting strawberries is primarily a waste of time. Although I do get some strawberries, I don't get a lot of strawberries. So I'm gonna pull these strawberries up, clean this bed out, and put some tomatoes here. Here are peppers. Got jalapeno peppers over here. I got a poblano peppers over here. Cayenne peppers. And so, they are looking good too. I think the garden needs to be cleaned up, but stuff is still blooming for the most part. Over here, habanero peppers. Looking fairly healthy. And for some reason, this garbage, this uh, this garden bed doesn't have many, doesn't have many uh, weeds and stuff in it at all. And I don't understand why. And I got room where I can plant some more stuff here, so I may plant some more uh, habanero peppers right there. Or if I can find some Scotch bonnet peppers, I plant them there. Now let's keep moving. Show you what else we have in the garden here. Right here. Malabar spinach, right there and right there. The thing of the Malabar spinach is, I haven't had to plant it this year. It come, it's come back the last two years without any problem on its own from putting out some of the uh, weeds in here right now. But the Malabar spinach is as usual, looking strong. And I expect it to pretty much take up this entire pot and grow up this entire trellis in a little bit. Now over here are Gugutsa. They're little right now and they are thriving. They are growing. Everyone I planted down here seems to be still growing. And I forget what type of flowers I have here in the middle here. I planted these because I wanted to try to attract pollinators for the uh, for the goose when it gets me big enough. Mint is starting to grow. And when mint grows, it grows. And you see there's plenty of mint right here. 
And those blue flowers you see there are weeds that came up. And I'm I'm leaving them up here because they may attract some pollinators. So in fact, I know what they normally do attract bees here. But this is the mint, and it is growing good. The only bad thing about mint is it spreads, so it spread outside. It is growing as healthy on the ground as it is in there. Now here's a real jungle right there. All those are Creole tomatoes. And it goes out here and I don't know how to attack it. I don't know whether I'm going to uh, try to trim them back, stake them up, or just let them continue growing like they are right now and see what happens. Anyway, there's a lot more I can show in it going, but I'll save it for another video. That's because next video I'm going to show you some of my squash, some of my um, cucumber plants, some of my egg plants, and some of my bell pepper plants, and also my uh, my blackberry plants. But that's enough for one day. Y'all have a nice day. Don't forget to click and subscribe.